Carl, let's start first with LeBron James. Yeah. I know uh, Pat Duffy brought it up, but I mean, the, the fact that he was able to do this over a long period of time, started when he fresh out of high school, and then the longevity to catch Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Did you think that there, anyone was going to break that record? No, I really didn't. And, and especially LeBron, because to me, LeBron James... Scoring is not what he does best. Mm -hmm. His overall game is so much better. And I always hated the LeBron, Jordan, who's the GOAT, right? Yeah, yeah. And I know what's going on like crazy this week with this happening. But to me, the better comparison was always LeBron, Magic Johnson. Similar body types and great passers. LeBron's one of the best passing forwards ever to play the game. Fourth all-time in career assists. Find me someone else at the top of the scoring list in the assist column, it's not there. He is a special player in the fact he's done it, and what he's doing in his 20th year is just mind-boggling to me. I don't think he's going to catch Stockton, but still, great pass. No, I think you can make the argument that he's never been the best scoring option on any team that he's ever played. Like, from a traditional standpoint, I mean, Darius Miles, there's a famous quote from when LeBron was drafted, I thought we drafted LeBron to help me score more points. <laughs> Darius Miles said that! But, like, it's amazing, despite the fact that he's a household name, despite the fact that he's a billionaire, despite championships, you know, all these things, I still don't think we appreciate the story of LeBron James like we should. The burden that was on his shoulders from 14 years old, cover of Sports Illustrated as a senior in high school. Think of all the phenoms that we've seen over the years that never came close to living up to potential. LeBron exceeded that with all eyes on him while maturing as an adult. On top of that, he's married to his high school sweetheart. He, from all... Thing. He looks like a great dad. Yep. He's never had any off-the-court scandal ever compared to your Brett Farbs or I can go on and on and on. Yeah. If you wrote this story as a script that he ends up the leading scorer in NBA history with everything we just mentioned, they'd send it back. Then it's too unbelievable. And yet there are still people that want to take shots at the guy because, oh, he's not Jordan. Like, it's insane. Yeah. It, to that point, excuse me, in the social media era, right? How do you think MJ would do in the social yeah. media era? <laughs> I mean, let's be honest about that. I know, you know, it's sacrilege to say anything bad about MJ. I loved MJ. I watched him, you know, since he got to Carolina. But you think he would have survived like he, like LeBron did in social media era? And to that point, he didn't have the expectations that LeBron James, LeBron James had. Jordan wasn't supposed to be Jordan. Sam Bowie went ahead of Jordan. LeBron was the guy from the moment he was a freshman in high school. And even without social media, there's video of Jordan playing poker the night before NBA Finals games, right? No, you're absolutely right. Uh, it's, it's quite the story. You guys said it the best. I mean, everything I was thinking about before the show started, you guys brought up in understanding the success of it. The craziest thing about it is like he's more, he's made fun of more for other small things that we wouldn't even consider to be a topic, but because he's LeBron James, it becomes a topic. And here's what stinks, is I also love to hate LeBron James, the basketball player. Like, look, I've gone to all kinds of live sporting events in my life. I've never seen an athlete in person like I've seen what LeBron James has been able to do. And I want to be able to cheer for LeBron James. There are times where I have. But... He, the way that he plays the game and conducts himself on the court, it's so much easier to criticize him, right? And his personality and the way that he kind of cries about things, that that's the only thing I don't like about LeBron James. Yeah, yeah The a, tantrum against the Celtics. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I cannot unsee that. Yeah. A grown man flopping around the court like that. Yes, he got fouled, but dude, come on. And, and came back, won the series against the Celtics, and of course that 3-1 game against the Warriors uh, that year that they won in 2016. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just so many great stories to remember. We'll, we'll have him around for a few more years, who knows, but uh, happy to have him a part of the sports legacy.